first of all, uh, Kylian Mbappe, uh, who, like you, obviously started at, uh, at Monaco as well. Um, uh, how do you describe his, you know, his first sort of two years, two and a half years as a professional player? Have you ever seen anything like it? Uh, do I have seen that before? Uh, yes, some players did that before, but that's not really the point. Point is, the kid is just outstanding. And I, when I say the kid, I shouldn't actually call him a kid, age kid, but he's been in the game for a very long time now. He's, he's, a, he's a player and, uh, and a hell of a player. Uh, what I like about him is how clever he is. Uh, people always talk about you know, his skills and, and whatnot, the stepovers. And, and, you know, we're not going to talk about everything that he does because we can be here for a day. But I like how clever he is and how he plays, you know, how he sees the game. And um, um, that's for me what actually amazes me the most with him, how ready he is at such a young age in bracket because he's been playing for a long time. But, it, you know, we're all happy that he's French and he plays for us. Uh, but, yeah, it's just, it's just when you have a guy like that that can make a difference at any, any moment in the game, it's definitely a plus. And the young boy from Arsenal, obviously, um, Matteo Guendouzi, who's come in and, and been in and around the senior international setup now. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you impressed with how he's taken to life uh, at, at the top level? I think it's a normal process. Uh, I saw him also with the under-21 uh, European Championship, where he played on and off. Uh, he's been doing well uh, with Arsenal. Uh, now, is he going to make the Euro or not? I don't know. You know, it's, the competition is massive in, uh, in midfield, but it's a great experience for him to be able to go and play and play some games and, and just been in, in and around the, the, the team the last time he got called, called up. So, uh, once again, that's the type of uh, program that uh, uh, the edition is going gonna, is gonna to have. But in all fairness, they are, they are kind of nice problems to have. Mm -hmm. um, somebody who, plays, who played your position for, for France and Arsenal as well is Alexandre Lacazette. Still not managed to become that starter for, for France. Um, is that just because of his characteristics in, in oppo opposition to Giroud, do you think? Or do you think he could, he could lead the line for France? I don't have a single clue. Uh, Didier knows what he's doing. Didier is the boss of the national team. Um, so I don't know why he hasn't been called. Uh, all I can tell you is what I see like as it doing for a while, uh, for Lyon. Uh, and since he came uh, to play uh, for Arsenal, he's a goal scorer. Uh, now, once again, you know, competition is massive in France to play, to play, to play up front. Giroud is doing extremely well. You have Griezmann that can play there. Player is doing well also for Mönchengladbach Gladbach and some, uh, you know, uh, some other players. Ben Yedder right now also is doing well uh, with Monaco and when he went to Sevilla, by the way. Um, so I don't know, you know, those are the stuff that, you know, is very difficult uh, for me to talk about because uh, you have to respect the decision of, uh, of the coach, uh, Gilles Deschamps. But, I uh, always like like as it as a number nine, but the most important thing is that DJ likes him.